All right, so we are going to do a pod review today on the plant that's right back here. And this plant is called the Elephant Ear. These seeds were sent to me from somebody in Serbia. This plant is generally comes from Serbia. I believe that's where this plant is native to. And we got a really big one back there that I got to get out somehow. If you could see that back there, there's a big one and I got to get that thing out. So what we'll do is I'll remove that and then we'll come back and we will do a pod review on the elephant ear pepper. And we'll talk a little bit more about it once I get that removed because that's going to take some surgery to get this thing off here. That is a very big stem on there. So let me get that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. I removed it and you can see this pepper is quite large. I mean, look at the size of this pepper. And this is not the largest this pepper can get. These peppers can actually double in size of what you see here. And they get a lot wider than what you see. They get really wide. There's a reason why they call it the elephant ear. And so one of the reasons why they call it the elephant ear pepper is that in general, this pepper gets very flat and big. So it'll get a very flat effect to it. It looks like an elephant ear and it gets kind of like a shape of a spade or maybe the shape of a heart, so to speak, something like that, but very large and flat. So these peppers are known to do that and they do that quite often. Now, if you grow this plant, like I just grew this over here and it's in a pot with like four other of the same plant. So it was kind of crowded out and it didn't do that good. But if I grow this thing out in my garden, like I'm going to do next year, you're going to see some very, very large pods. I mainly keep them small like that in the beginning because I am testing to see if I even got the correct seed or not. So I'm not going to waste a whole season out growing that thing and then find out I get little um, cascabella peppers out of it when I ordered elephant ear. So we like to proof our peppers the first year and then after that, the next year, we grow them out in the garden and we'll get them to their fullest potential. But this is what it looks like. And you can see, again, this is this is a large pepper. And this is coming off a very small plant. If this pepper was to actually grow in my garden outdoors and left there for the whole season, these, these peppers would be twice the size of this. Now, I do have another one that I picked off right here. And you can see that this one's starting to get that flattening effect. It gets that, the whole thing, Thing is generally a flat pepper it they look really cool if you do an image search online you'll see these peppers a lot of images of these peppers and you'll get an idea of what they should look like when they get large and flat but this is definitely the true version of the elephant ear I've seen other versions for sale in my opinion I don't think that they're the true version but this particular one came directly from Serbia. This is a very popular pepper in Serbia. That is the country this pepper comes from, and that's where I got my seeds. I wanted to make absolutely sure that I was going to get true elephant ear seeds and not something else and not be happy and go through that five years lost time looking for it all over line. This is the true version of the elephant ear pepper. Not all the time. These peppers are not going to get flat all the time. They really need to be grown outside in really good conditions and full sun. And you'll get the majority of them will get really flat. Now, much they'll get much flatter than this and much wider. They get almost as wide as they do long. So it's a really strange looking pepper. But under the conditions I grew them in, you're not going to get that. Now, a lot of times you're going to get just a regular type of pepper. It's generally not going to be totally flat, though this one was wanting to flatten out. This one was definitely wanting to go into a flat stage, but it wasn't quite right for it, and so it didn't. But what I can say is if you grow them out outdoors, you should get full-size, really wide peppers that are flat, and they're going to look really, really cool. So we will be doing that next year. You can see the calyx looks kind of different on this. You can see how it, it cups upwards. See how it comes off the pepper and it kind of comes up. It's a very strange looking pepper. Very excited to grow this this year. We will be doing this next year along with a couple of other monster peppers that I have that are supposed to get extremely large. We're going to have a little growing thing for next year with the large peppers. And we're going to grow those outdoors and really get the 
full size of those peppers out there. Some of these peppers that I'm going to be growing get absolutely enormous and they're going to be really cool for a video next year. But this year we're just going to do a taste test on this and see what it tastes like. All right, so let me turn you around and give it a go. All right, guys, here we are. We are doing another pod review today, and it's going to be on this pepper right here, and this is called the Elephant Ear Pepper, and this pepper can get quite enormous, and the thing about this pepper is it's known for becoming very flat. That's why they call it the Elephant Ear, but not only does it get flat, it also gets very wide, so it gets almost circular, if you will. And it gets flat. It's a very strange type of pepper. I've seen some really cool images on this pepper, and I couldn't resist growing it. I actually had to get seed from Serbia itself, and I was lucky to actually get those seeds. So this is it. This is a smaller one anyway. The other ones, I already put it uh, up at the top on my house. But this is it. It's a wonderful-looking pepper. Nice and flat, nice and big. Now, this is a small one. These peppers can get absolutely huge. Next year, we're going to be doing a monster pepper series. I have about between four and six varieties of peppers that are supposed to be get absolutely enormous and gigantic. And so we're going to do a monster pepper series next year and grow some really large peppers. This is going to be one of them. But without any further ado, let's give it a go. And this is a really nice pepper. First of all, there's no heat on it, and it's a sweet pepper. And if you eat these while they're red, they're going to be very sweet. But if you pick them while they're green, they're going to have a green bell pepper type flavor, a typical anum flavor. But I like to let my peppers ripen for the most part because I'm collecting seed, and I want to get the most viable seed out of it. But if I'm cooking, and I know I'm going to be cooking, and I have enough of these peppers or any pepper that I'm growing, that I want green, I will pick them green and eat them that way. But this pepper's got a very, very smooth, delicious flavor. It does not have anything weird about it. It tastes just like a bell pepper. Not green bell pepper, but like when bell peppers turn red, they get like the sweet flavor. This kind of has that flavor to it. Let me take another bite. It's very moist, it's very crispy, it's just an awesome pepper to grow. I really want to start growing peppers like this more on a regular basis rather than the standard YOLO Wonder or California Wonder or regular bell pepper. I really want to start getting into some of these more exotic peppers. Whereas these type of peppers, they will ripen very quickly to a red stage rather than most bell peppers generally take a long time to ripen red. That's why when you buy red bell peppers in a store, you're going to pay a lot more for those because they got to literally sit on a plant for just about ever because they're primarily grown to be eaten green. So most people don't wait for peppers to turn red. So they want to buy and sell them in their green stage and they can produce those peppers quite rapidly. Whereas peppers that are generally red to wait for them to turn red, it takes a long time and that's why the price of them are, when they're red are usually double but these peppers they turn red relatively pretty quickly as soon as they get to the size that they need to be shortly after week two weeks after that they'll start turning red and within uh, another few days after that they'll get really red and now you can pick them red but this is a great pepper i really really like this pepper a lot i'm really glad i'm growing it now it's absolutely delicious, and this pepper is literally big enough to be my whole breakfast. I mean, this thing is monstrous. The weight of this thing is probably, this little one was probably close to a half a pound, maybe three quarters of a pound. That bigger one is probably close to a pound, so there's a lot of weight on that pepper. And like I said, those peppers can get double the size of that other one I showed you earlier. They can get twice the size of that, so these things can get absolutely enormous we are going to explore this next year. We are going to grow it to its full size and see what we can get out of it and give you a real good idea of how flat these peppers can really get and show you what they look like. They're really, really cool looking. So anyway, that is just a quick pod review for the elephant ear pepper. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.